Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a pretty big shoe haul and we're gonna be going over what we picked up and why. Most of these are from the bins. A couple of them are from regular stores, but most of them are from the bins. So we'll try to tell you where we pick them up at and then I will put on the screen about the comp range because at this point in time, we have so many we don't remember. So we'll pop up a little thing on the screen here with a range of what we think we're going to sell them for. Disclaimer, none of these have been cleaned yet. We're gonna work on that today, unfortunately. <laughs> Lots of shoe cleaning is in my future today. We hate cleaning shoes, but we try to not pick up ones that need a whole lot of cleaning now, um, unless they are a more rare find. So we'll show you guys those today, but be, be advised they're not completely clean yet. The first? Sure. Here are some booties. These are Zara boots. Um, and they have this really cool, like, elastic stripe on the side. These were found at the bins. Um, the cool thing is it's kind of like a scavenger hunt because we found the one but then couldn't find the other. And then magically came across them. Um, they are in pretty good shape. Not a whole lot of wear on them. Just a little bit here on the tips of the boots. Um, as far as, like, tread and stuff on the bottom still look really good. Um, and... We think that these will be a pretty good quick flip because Zara is pretty popular. And that stretchy panel is called Chelsea Boot, um, in case anybody needed to know. Those might also be men's, possibly. So they are... Zara makes men's boots, too. I'll have to see what size they are, but it is possible. Uh, next up is a Born... A lot of people know the BOC by Born, which is Born of Concept. If you just see this, this is actually the higher line. Like you can get more for stuff that just says Born. Um, so I do like to look for this because they do have a good following. For the most part, we usually steer clear of it, but these were very on trend and I did look up red Born booties and they were doing pretty good. These are nice uh, leather. They've got kind of, they're meant to look like that distressed Look, all in all, in great condition. If anybody does want them, try to find the size. They are a size six and a half ones. The Zara boots were size 39. I'm assuming that's uh, European, but I didn't know the translations without checking eBay. So 39 will keep you posted on the legit US size. Uh, these are a nice pair of sneakers. Uh, we actually had a really good week as far as finding like tennis shoes or sneakers, especially at the bins. Um, these are a Nike Free, um, actually the Nike Free 5.0. They are men's. Um, they do have kind of the knit material here on the top. They're open and airy. Um, these are a size 13. Um, and again, other than the tread on the bottom being a little bit dirty, they are relatively clean. Should be a quick flip for us as well. Everything that we've showed so far has been from the bins. Except for these. <laughs> Except for these. These ones we actually did pick up at a regular Goodwill. The brand is Naot. N-A-O-T. Um, I think these were made, yeah, in Israel. And they're kind of like a comfort, another one for their comfort leather shoes. They make, I believe, men's and women's. These are a women's size 8. And I like picking them up in good condition. These are like brand new brand new and they've got a really cool buckle um buckles definitely add value to every shoe in my opinion so we like to put it in the title as well and then these just look like that uh the word i want to use is primitive and this is kind of on trend right now like that primitive looking style and that might also be a keyword that we'll put into our listing these are also a Ben's item. You can't, can never really go wrong with Crocs. These are kids Crocs, size 10. Um, pretty, just plain Jane. They are a navy blue with a white and red stripe down the side. Kind of hits that Americana theme. Um, but in relatively new condition, they do have just a little bit of dirt on the bottom, which we'll clean up, but the tread is still fully intact. Again, these are a children's size 10. Um, it does look like they were at a Goodwill at one point. Must not have been picked up. But again, these were from the bins. And we won't really have to do a whole lot of cleaning with these as well, other than getting that mud out of the tread on the bottom. So, Crocs, Crocs clean up really Crocs. nice. Crocs. <laughs> they clean up really nice. You can just mm -hmm. take a disinfectant wipe and get most of that off. And then those, like at the bins, they're so lightweight that it's probably cost like... 50 maybe, cents yeah, for 50 those cents. maybe because they're kids 
Uh, these were also a Ben's pickup. This is the brand Dance Co. I'm sure you guys know Dance Co. Um, these are in pretty good condition. The, you might see a small spot there. We have leather cleaner and conditioner, so that should come off. Um, but an otherwise really great condition. Bottoms look great. Dance goes a brand that I like to pick up um, at the bins, but honestly, hardly ever do we find it where it's in decent enough condition that it's worth picking up. These are a size 38, real leather, also European sizing. I believe that translates to like an eight or an eight and a half, but if you guys are size 38, you probably know if anybody's interested in these. Here we have some little booties as well. Uh, these are almost like a cowboy booty. Uh, they do have the stitching here on the front, which is typical for a cowboy boot. These, let's see if I can tell you what size they are, are a Franco Sarto boot. Um, they're eight and a half, and they are <clears throat> made from leather as well. Um, relatively good shape as well. You can see kind of from the tread on the bottom, they just need wiped off. These were also a bins fine. Again, Kaylee talked about the buckles earlier, always adding value. So we'll definitely include that as well. Um, but again, pretty clean. Even if you look at the tips down here, relatively in great shape and should be really quick to clean up as well. Just a few wipes and should be ready to go. We don't usually pick up Franco Sarto, but those are like really on trend. It's a soft, supple leather cowboy buckle and then that cognac collar is really popular also so all of those factors combined we got them but i would say in general we don't pick up franco sarto this is a pair of merrells we do love this brand it's not showing there we go um these are kind of a unique style i've never seen these ones before they're like a faux leather look sandal those are cute they are cute we're gonna wipe these down really quickly with a wipe um these i think we found these at the bins too didn't we mm -hmm. even though they have a goodwill tag on them they ended up at the bins um so quick wipe down love selling merrells and even though we're moving out of sandal season when you can pick them up the bins you might as well go ahead and get them uh, these are a women's size nine, and I don't see an exact style name. I love this little. They're so cute. Right there. They're very like modern for males. Um, so I don't know the style name yet, but I'll look up the number on the inside. Probably gonna butcher the way I say this, and Kaylee's probably gonna correct me. But I call these Sanooks. I don't know if that's what she calls them, but that's what I call them. Um, we found these at the bins as well. Again, just a quick wipe on the bottom and they'll be pretty clean. You can tell based on all the happy smiley faces on the bottom that they're still in relatively great shape. Um, these, let's see if I can tell you the size, are a size six. So these are definitely men's and um, relatively great, like I said, relatively great shape. The canvas is still in really good, good shape. They have almost like an Aztec stripe inside which is very on trend as well right now looks like they yeah used to be very new they still have you can't really see it here but they still have the little thread on it um and honestly they look like maybe they were worn once and maybe they, somebody didn't like them so um again size six and men's if you're interested in these but as kaylee said about crocs these are so lightweight mm -hmm. these are probably like 50 cents as well so a good quick flip a good keyword for the brand Sanook is surfer and beach. A lot of people call those surfer shoes. These are just a pair of men's New Balance shoes. We did pick these up at a regular Goodwill, but other than a wipe down on the bottom, they're in basically new condition. Um, a lot of people pass on New Balance, but they do have a following. And when I can get them pretty much brand new, especially in men's, we get them. These are called the Tech... Tech Ride, New Balance Tech Ride, and these are a men's size eight and a half. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I just thought you were still no, going. You're good. <laughs> these here are fry boots. You can tell they've got the nice little emblem here. Um, these are sorry, I keep throwing those in there. These are um, about knee height or at least calf height. Um, they are distressed. We do believe that that is mostly the way that they are supposed to be. Um, a lot of fry shoes tend to be pretty distressed looking. I know I've seen that kind of in the last couple months that I've been with Kaylee. Uh, but other than that, they're in relatively good shape. The bottoms are in decent shape as well. Um, again, probably a quick wipe down. They do have that 
added buckle feature as well here and up here as well, which we think will add value. These are a size nine, I do believe. Yep. And we were kind of surprised to find these, to be honest. We found these at the bins as well. And um, we they're kind of sitting on top. So I think people looked at them and thought they weren't supposed to be distressed, not knowing a whole lot about fry boots. Um, but again, found them pretty quickly and on top. And we do think that we'll have a good turnaround on these as well. The color's great. Great on style for the timing right now. So we picked these up. And I looked up the style name of the, I might even see on the inside, but it says something about like oil on it. So that's why I kind of believe that that look is part of the boot. Uh, next up is a pair of altered state boots, which I've never found any altered state shoes before. Um, the reason we got these was because they were new with tags, retailed for $70. Um, still has the tag on the inside and looks like they've only been tried on like at the store. These are also a great size. They're a size 10 um, and we pick these up at a regular Goodwill. Mostly pick them up because of the great size and the fact that they were new with tags. Um, and I don't see anything. Oh, it says all man-made material. So it is a faux leather, um, but they're really on trend. These are some Teos sandals. Um, we actually found these at the bins as well. I wasn't super familiar with the brand. I know Kaylee and I kind of looked back and forth at them and said, well, they look kind of on trend for the typical uh, sandal that you're seeing people uh, really like and enjoy right now. Um, they have like a woven pattern right here and they do look like they were relatively in pretty new condition. Uh, if you actually look at the treads on the bottom, it looked like they've barely been worn maybe once um, out somewhere or tried on somewhere. So a pretty good quick white. They also have um, some Velcro with what looks like a buckle look to it, even though it is not legitimate. Um, anyways, we looked these up without being familiar with the brand, and they did have a really good sell-through rate as well. These are like cork heeled, so they look pretty heavy, um, but in actuality, they're really light as well. These probably were 50 cents or a dollar as well, so... Along the same lines, these are Merrells, or no, these are Keens. These are all, you guys can probably tell, we pick up a lot of like outdoorsy hippie brands because they do really well. These are Keens, they're similar to Merrells, pretty clean on the bottoms. I think this might mean Vibram sole, but I gotta look that up, if so that'll add value to it. Um, pretty clean condition, just a little wipe down, and these are a women's size seven. These are birdie flats. Um, they are open, kind of did it on the side, which look really cool. And then they're almost like a little, I don't know, I'd call this a loafer. You might not call that a loafer, I call it a loafer. but that's what I would call it. Um, these are a size six and a half. Again, if you look at like the internal stitching here, they literally look pretty brand new. Um, looking at the bottoms, they've maybe been worn once or twice. Uh, again, size six and a half. These are all man-made, so um, they almost have a leather look, but again, will be a faux leather look. And honestly, they look pretty elegant, especially with like the little logos on the back here. Um, they do look pretty elegant. Um, I think they'd be a good kind of everyday shoe or um, even something kind of dressy-ish. So I think these will actually go really, really quick for us and a really quick wipe down as well. And they're also really lightweight, which again, makes for cheap buys. Can you show them the, the name on the inside real quick? Sure. Because we just learned this. And I from my research when we found these, they're very similar to Rothy's. And they have a really good following. So like that comfort businessy flat. So if you see Birdie, it's definitely worth looking into because we didn't know that brand leading up to this. That's the biggest thing I've learned um, kind of with starting. I think it kind of helped benefit Kaylee and I both is... I had no clue what I was looking for at first. So I'd walk through a section and literally comp every single thing I was seeing that, that looked intriguing. Definitely not doing that now, uh, but I think it's kind of taught us that just because we don't recognize something as being a name brand, you can tell by either the way it's made or the way that it feels that it may be something superior. A lot of times you look brands up you've never even noticed before and all of a sudden you realize that they're really great, so. Yeah, and the Benz is a great place to do that because you're getting them for cheap. Um, we did pick these up at the bins. I just realized, I didn't realize before because the branding is there, but I think these are missing insoles. 
Mm -hmm. So we'll have to note that um, or get insoles, probably less than without insoles. Um, but we didn't notice because the brand's right there. Um, but these are a more rare pair of Adidas. So they say Boost on the inside. I did look up the like number on there. I don't remember the exact name, but I think these might be the Aniki Boosts. But they are definitely a more rare pair of Adidas when I did look them up. Again, can't remember. Um, but in pretty good, good condition other than that insole missing. So we'll have to evaluate what to do with that. But a uh, really great find. And some Adidas shoes are, are really trendy right now. So I wouldn't pass on them. This is one of my favorite brands to find. I don't know why, but I feel like this is one of what I would call my holy grail items. I get really excited when I find it. Even though it may not be super pricey all the time, I just get excited to find them. It's like J. Jill. I like to find her too. <laughs> uh, but these are almost like an Ugg booty, um, kind of what you would suspect for those. But these are, again, Sorrells. Um, they do have the lining on the inside. Um, it was actually in pretty good shape. That's one thing we always look for. We can oftentimes find um, Uggs or Coolaburras or things like that at the bins, but the fur is not always in the best shape. So that's something that you always want to make sure that you evaluate is as how the fur and the inside looks, right? Nobody wants them like completely beaten down into nothing. Um, these look like they really weren't worn a whole lot. You can see a little bit of wear just from like the foot padding here. Um, but this here is still pretty intact. Um, and then as far as like water staining, that's the other thing. A lot of times people wear them in the winter and you'll notice kind of like a, I don't know, I call it like a rim that will trail up the side of the boot where they soak in the water. These do not look like they've been worn in water or during um, any snow seasons. So we definitely picked these up and they're again lightweight. These are a women's size 11, so a really good size on those as well. I'm surprised Kaylee didn't steal these because she <laughs> likes to steal shoes. They so. might be a half size too big. Mm. Fuzzy socks. <laughs> Don't fit. Uh, moving along with the winter theme, these are a pair of women's Columbia boots. And to make a long story short, sometimes when stuff is in really great condition, and I know it's a pretty substantial piece and brand if I look them up on eBay and I don't see a lot of information about them I'll then go on to Poshmark and find a lot more so some brands do better on each platform it's just something we learned by looking up but these are like basically brand new Columbia women's boots um the style name is called Sierra Summit so I was able to look that up and on Poshmark they were doing really good these should sell for about 30 to $35, I believe. And again, practically brand new. So we'll expect them to sell again on there. And these are women's size seven and a half. If they were just half size bigger, they'd be on my feet this winter. <laughs> these are, again, another pair of New Balance. I know we talked about um, picking those up earlier. These were found at the bins. Um, they do have a little bit of wearing or dirt right in here on the sides, you can see, but we think that'll be relatively easy to clean up. Um, I would say that these weren't worn super often just by looking at like the treads and stuff on the bottom of them. They even still had the paper on the inside of them. So I would say whoever had them took relatively good care of them. Um, they do have like that fly knit feel up here as well. You can kind of see on here. These are listed as a fresh foam New Balance. And I looked at the specific brand. I know there was a specific coloring name with it as well. Um, and it was very popular. So we went ahead and picked these up. These are a men's size nine and a half. So if you're interested. These do look really nice. They are. They're uh, clean. Yeah. This is a women's pair of Brooks. Brooks is a great running shoe in both men's and women's. And we picked these up at a regular thrift store for $4.99. They are in almost new condition, probably only worn a couple of times. These are called the Adrenaline 21 and they are women's size nine. Oh, it looks like they are actually wide. That actually might, might up the value. So we'll have to make sure and include that in the listing. Um, but again, we pick them up because they're super clean and this is a pretty tried and true brand for us. I believe we also found these at the bins. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes. These are Red Wing boots. They are oil proof. Um, they've got that label on the bottom. These are a size. 
are kind of hard to read, aren't they? Do you look. There's like spiders in this one. Yeah, I think. You want, oh, we you actually want... got this at the. No. You want to these are the ones they said we're going to have to vacuum. Oh, so they had called it. The, we actually found these at a regular store. These ones we did? Mm hmm. We I found that at. Sure. Uh, um, There's some UFCW stamps. They're union men. Do you know that? We will have to figure out the size, but regardless, these resell for, these are probably go for about $100. So worth the pickup and the investment to research. And the vacuuming of the nice spider friends that are in here. <laughs> so, but they are in really good shape other than like a little bit of paint here at the end, which I think will come off. Um, when we clean them, they honestly look pretty new. I'd say they were worn maybe once or twice. If you looked at like the treading on the bottom, they look like they've barely been worn. So sizing wise, I'm not sure of. There are a couple of numbers in here we could look at, but I don't want to tell you guys the wrong size on these. Um, they do have some writing, but it is a little bit faded. So we'll have to check those out and keep you posted. Red Wing, is, we pick up almost every Red Wing shoot that we find because they do resell for so much. Uh, this is another case where I had better luck on Poshmark than on eBay. Um, and that's a great thing about selling on multiple platforms. We actually paid up for these. We paid $14.99, but I believe I should be able to sell them for about 60 bucks. Um, these are a Michael Kors wedge booty. And I don't think I saw the specific like rose gold tan one which made me believe we might be able to get a little bit more, but the like different colored ones seem to be doing good. But Wedge Sneakers and Michael Kors uh, look like they had a really good following on Poshmark. So we'll list on both, but we'll expect it to sell on there. Rose Gold's super popular now too. Mm -hmm. Like it's coming back. I love everything Rose Gold. My watch is Rose Gold. My nails are Rose Gold. I love it. We have Rose Gold stickers when we ship. You'll find out when you buy our shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have, or I guess last, I think. Yeah. Last but not least, we have Nike Free 4.0 Flyknit Shoes. Um, this is one of the things we found, not the specific, but um, Flyknit Shoes were one of the very first pair of shoes I think Kaylee found and told me, hey, these are what we need to pick up when I first started. So I always keep my eyes out for these, especially like the rainbow colors. People tend to yeah. love the multicolored stuff right now. Um, these are a size 7. Again, they look relatively new on the bottom. Just a quick wipe. We did get these from a regular store. We paid $4.99 for them. Um, but always a good thing to pick up when you find them, especially in the fly net because they do pretty well. So. And those are supposed to be machine washable too. Yeah, they're really lightweight too. So I always, I always like things I can just quick throw in the washer, especially if you've got out like jogging or something and they get muddy, you just toss them in. So. All right, well, that is our giant shoe haul. We are gonna get to cleaning all of these shoes so that they can dry um, and pass them off to our photographer and get them listed. A lot of great stuff, honestly. And even though shoes are a lot of work, we joke around because we both hate cleaning Cleaning shoes. shoes. <laughs> she usually ends up having to do it, unfortunately, so she hates it even more than me. But <laughs> it is a lot of work, but the return on investment, I think, is is there a lot more so than some of the clothing pieces we pick up. So we do still like picking up shoes. And it was a really good week for it. We haven't yeah. found this many shoes in a while, so. And they're easy, we talked about, they're easy to photograph yeah. too. Um, just turn them a couple different ways and you're done. You're not digging for um, different material tags. You're not folding it a bunch of different ways, measuring a bunch of different ways. It's a lot quicker to photograph. And you kind of know what you get, right? So with shoes, for the most part, returns-wise, they either typically fit or they don't. Mm -hmm. You don't have a lot of people who will return items for not fitting because most times, if they're buying a shoe like this, they more than likely have had that shoe before or have had that brand before, and they know. So a lot of times you kind of avoid that as well. So shoes are a good, quick flip. Yep. All right, well, we're going to end the video here. If you're not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. Hopefully that's on right side. I just we, point both ways. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're not already, that way you get notified as we make new videos. We do not only thrift hauls, but we have to do what's sold, tips and tricks, and then processes here at the office that maybe you guys don't know about. Um, a lot of really good information. We might be biased, but I think so. So if you're a new reseller, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. And we just have fun. Sometimes yeah. we do some really crazy stuff, so. We haven't done a crazy 
It's coming. It's been a while. Just yeah, I feel it coming. It's coming. It's coming. I think the last one we did was we distressed t-shirts or you had your solo day. Oh, I did. I had sol- <laughs> We're not doing that soon because Kaylee's not allowed to leave me anytime soon. But. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. My hair's a mess. Mine's a mess too. Who? I put dry shampoo on. I didn't brush I it. I didn't. I took a shower. I didn't. I didn't brush my hair when I got out, though. It's just why. It's fine. It's all fine. Oh.